Hi, I am Richard Cha from Delhi School and uh, I have got requests from many of the Delhi School readers as well as visitors that they are not from commerce background and they are completely unknown of what is accounting and they want to learn Delhi. So I told them that Delhi is nothing but accounting in digital format. Yeah, it's true. Tally is nothing but accounting in digital format. So they told me, then how can I learn Tally? So for that reason, I created the basics of accounting. This course is a presentation that I'll give. You just have to sit and hear. So if you have some work to do, pause this or stop this go and do the work and then come again or put the work aside and just sit down and listen to this presentation for maybe five to ten minutes and you will learn basics of accounting so let's go to the next slide so for whom this course is for this is the free course that i'm offering on the basics of accounting and for to whom this course is for so people not from commerce background yes the people who are not from commerce background are unknown with accounting terms like debit credit ledgers vouchers entries etc so this course is perfectly for them who do not know a of accounting who do not know a single thing about accounting they can learn the basics of accounting and they can learn tally as well from that basics of accounting because for learning tally you need some basics of accounting and not anything else trust me secondly people from commerce background can also learn from this i have also gotten requests from people who are from commerce background but they are a bit confused about entries in tally about how tally works and from the questions i got in emails I get many emails a day and I've answered till date uh, maybe four sorry five to six hundred emails personally I answer each and every email personally on each and every question so from people from I get emails from people like I have done my BCom but I don't know telly so that's where I my you know my bulb blinked and some other questions like how to what to do when there is no cash like that so i created this course for people who are from commerce background but they don't know telly or they are a bit confused about accounting the questions like what do i do when there are futures traded which entry i pass now futures traded is just like stocks same everything goes the same you just have to pass the entry so that's the confusion with many people even from the commerce background and there's nothing to shame because you can't know everything even i do not know everything so if you are from a commerce background this presentation or this course is also for you plus people who want to learn clearly so if you are not from a commerce background or if you are from a commerce background plus you want to learn tally then this course is perfectly for you no other course I don't know but this course is perfectly for you to learn tally and to learn basics of accounting so this is the basics of accounting course by me that is Richard Shah from tally school and I have specifically made on the requests made by people from Tally School that they don't know accounting. I've got several hundred emails. You can read it on the congratulations page. There are around 40 to 50 comments. Uh, and many of them are like, I am from science background. I don't know accounting. How do I learn Tally? For them, I told that there is a free tally course, but then they told I don't know shit about debit, credit, uh, sorry, credit. So how do I learn? And 
i got an email from a recent uh visitor i don't know exactly the name sorry for that but i told him that i'll make an accounting course in one or two days and for me as a ca final student it's not much of a work it's just explaining what i learned in the previous three years so quickly recapping who for whom this course is for if you are from n non commercial background that is if you are from science or arts or any field but not commerce and if you are from commerce background and a bit confused about accounting entries in tally this course is for you after this course you will be able to learn tally much more easily by watching my videos about the free tally course online on youtube yes there is a channel on tally school uh sorry there is a channel on youtube named tally school you can watch all the free videos that i upload there so let's start the course with one basic question what is accounting so many people will tell you what is accounting but they don't actually tell you what you need to exactly know before you start this happened to me but being 3 years in the chartered accountancy course i got to know what is accounting and it's very simple what is accounting it is accurate counting of facts and figures yes it is accurate counting of facts and figures that's accounting trust me not many people will tell you this answer but it is as simple as that it's accurate counting of facts and figures for example recording of transactions in business so this is a, just a simple example of accounting and it's for business but accounting can be for anybody say for example uh, your mom bought some vegetables and fruits and some stuff for your home and after buying she came home and she wrote about the expenses in a small book and she totaled up and she came to know that she spent 300 rupees or 500 rupees or 1000 rupees whatever so that's accounting yeah that is exactly accounting she is counting what amount spent on what fruit let's say for example she spent 100 rupees on tomato 200 on apples and so on so she was counting what amount was spent on what items and what total amount was spent that's accounting yeah when you ask people they'll tell you profit and loss account balance sheet accounting entries that's not accounting that's the way we present accounting that's the way we present facts and figures that's a presentation matter so that is presentation and that's not accounting accounting is what i told you just now it's counting of facts and figures so taking the example of your mom or my mom everybody's mom they do my mom does that and i'm pretty sure your mom will also be would also be doing this so continuing that example we i told you about that she wrote everything she bought so that's figures and what are the facts the facts are that she bought tomato worth 100 she bought apples worth 200 that's the fact and 100 and 200 are figures so if we take that your mom bought two items the fact is that she bought two items that is tomatoes and apples and the figures are that she bought 100 rupees of tomatoes and 200 of apples so in figure terms she bought things or fruits or vegetables amounting to 300 and the fact is that she bought tomatoes and she bought apples that's accounting she's written that and she has recorded so here is written for recording of transactions in business now that's just an example recording of transactions for home for personal use that's accounting so what is accounting let me 
another time or let me again tell you that accounting is nothing but recording the transactions what you hear from people balance sheet profit and loss account they are all presentation of accounting they are all statements representing accounting so people can understand okay so moving on major statements in accounting now major statements in accounting why we need statements in accounting say for example you are running a company and you account in your methods and say your friend is also running a company and he accounts his transactions business transaction in his method so what will happen you cannot compare your accounting or your business with him or he cannot compare with yours you both cannot compare with anybody else so for example you want to compare or you want to say you want to purchase your friend's business or he wants to purchase your business how can you compare you cannot so there's a generalized statements made so everybody can compare everybody can understand what it is so that's where the presentation part of the accounting comes in and that's where balance sheet profit and loss account and cash flow statements these are the major statements in accounting that's balance sheet profit and loss statement or account nowadays it's told profit and loss statement because you know what's changing wording changes as time but before it was called profit and loss account so whatever you tell it's the same thing many people tell income statement like that and the third is cash flow statement now let me explain everything uh, by in detail so major statements in accounting that's balance sheet profit and loss account or statement and cash flow statement so what is balance sheet balance sheet is a statement of assets and liabilities so if you don't know what is an asset or what is a liability don't worry i'll explain that in detail in the later videos but for now asset is what you own what you have and liability is what you owe or what is not yours it's a kind of expense i cannot say expense but to simplify asset is like you have a building and liability is that you have to pay your electricity bills taxes and expenses to run or to keep that building good in simple terms so for now asset is what you have or what you own and liability is what you owe or what you have to expand to keep the asset good or in condition good good condition so that's balance sheet where all your assets business assets or your personal assets if you are preparing personal accounts and your all or your liabilities i'll explain the whole balance sheet in detail in later video and what is asset and what is a liability in detail in the later video but for this this is the, these are the major statements in accounting so i'll just i am going overview i'm giving you an overview so the second most major statement or second major statement in accounting is profit and loss statement or profit and loss account we used to call profit and loss account previously nowadays it's called profit and loss statement or you have heard income statement like that the terms are different but the main scenario or the main premise or the main thing which is in there is the same so you must know what is profit and what is a loss so i don't need to explain that everybody knows what's a profit and what's a loss that is the statement of profit and losses of your business so you keep profit on one side you write your losses on the second side and or you write your expenses on the second side and uh sorry you keep your incomes on one side you keep your expenses on second side and 
what you get if you get profit it's a profit if you get loss it's a loss if your expenses are more you get loss if your incomes are more than expenses you get a profit so we prepare a statement in accounting for that and that's called profit and loss statement again i'll go in detail in profit and loss statement so don't worry about that and the third one is cash flow statement so what is cash flow statement now from the wording you must have guessed or if you have not guessed it's a flow of your cash in the business where the cash flows from your business so say you earned money so cash came in your business or you personally earn money so cash came in with you and you have to do some expenses to earn that cash so cash got out so that's the flow of your cash in the business so that's the cash flow statement so for this video these are the major statements in accounting i hope you learned what is accounting and major statements in accounting very well if you have any questions about this video you can post it in the comments and i would be happy to answer any of the questions you have so what's in the next video i'll discuss you within the next video terms used in accounting there are many different terms which people don't know and i'll explain uh, every major term that's used in accounting there are not much maybe 10 to 12 and i'll explain each term in detail and that contains profit loss income expense debit credit etc so stay tuned and subscribe to teleschool on youtube don't forget that and if you like the video give a like a thumbs up down there or wherever it is so thank you stay tuned and see you in the next video